Hello and welcome to another episode of CI Stories. This week we are going to look into how we can protect seabed infrastructure. There was quite an interest in my video about the subsea robotics perspective on the Nord Stream 2 leaks uh, on uh, the seafloor in the Baltic Sea. So this week we want to look a little bit into how one can actually protect uh, critical infrastructure on the seabed. And you can imagine that this is a very tricky task to uh, protect infrastructure on the seabed. First of all, because infrastructure is they're rather unprotected. Unprotect For example, pipelines are just lying on the ocean floor or on the sea floor. Uh, also, internet cables are often just lying there on the sea floor, so they can easily be uh, be damaged. But on the other hand, uh, it's very hard to survey. Already on the surface of the water, there is a lot of traffic. Uh, which you can, for example, see in these AIS tracking websites, you can see some of the ships, but you definitely can't see all of the surface ships because not every ship, uh, at least not the smaller ones, carries a transponder. So if you actually want to uh, protect seabed infrastructure, it's a very, very complicated thing. There's one technology uh, which is actually able also to de detect divers or unmanned underwater vehicles, uh, AUVs, or that is active sonar. And that is basically like you use, uh, for example, imaging sonars on the AUV itself as a scientific payload. But basically what you do is that you have a sonar transducer uh, that ensonifies the entire area and you just listen to any reflections. Basically you do what dolphins do to get to know the area. And however, these systems are very limited in capability. With these, you can up to a range of maybe one kilometer detect a diver or a medium range uh, autonomous underwater vehicle. So it's really tricky uh, to transform that into a big uh, surveillance of all your your seabed and harbor infrastructure. If you just imagine of a big harbor like like Hamburg, how much you would actually, how much of these devices you would actually need to just survey everything that is coming in and out of that harbor and make sure that there's no divers in the water that you don't know about. And uh, then of course there might be animals at the target as well, which might be purely natural. So it's a uh, a very uh, tricky topic and uh, really hard. So that is uh, very tricky. And uh, this infrastructure is, for example, used for private yachts to see that there is no divers attacking a private yacht or stuff. But to have it on a large scale, it's uh, really difficult. So what you can do and what uh, the militaries are doing is to patrol uh, infrastructure with AUVs to at least get to know when something goes wrong. You you would be able to see that somebody has put something on your pipeline, which hopefully has not detonated yet. But uh, often this is a measure which would come quite too late uh, and is not really able to detect any active intruders into, into your waterways. So the only other way is not active sonar, but passive sonar. And that basically means that you're... Uh, putting listening posts out in strategic locations and you listen to what is coming and everything that is moving underwater is producing uh, noise. Is Whether these are the bubbles of a diver, whether this is the propellers of a ship or the propulsion thrusters of a submarine or an AUV. And if you listen very, very carefully, you can detect some of these. Uh, this is a very tricky task, but uh, one that the military is using heavily, at least to detect submarines. Uh, but it's of course very challenging to also protect the harbor or something like that uh, with these technologies. So you see that uh, seabed infrastructure is uh, very critical, that is uh, very easy to attack with nowadays methods. And I guess that governments in the future will need to invest quite a bit into uh, protecting our seabed infrastructure so that it is not so prone to uh, terrorist attacks like uh, the Nord Stream 2 pipeline leaks. 
I hope this helped you understand a little bit again the how fragile our seabed infrastructure is. And thanks a lot for watching and have a nice day.